What's up guys, Mr. Put Together. I'm out here and I don't even remember the name of this place. Mr. Cologne is here. I'm about to do some sniffing. Haven't smelled anything from this house. I'm about to smell this house. Bunch of really dope stuff I'm about to smell. Amorages. Tillier. This Ross. That's Horus. I said it wrong, my bad. So, first thing I'm about to smell is uh, Initial Rehab. I'm going to find out for you. I'm going to find out what's the name of the store. I'm going to let you know. I have no idea. But right now, I'm about to smell... This guy right here, Initial Rehab. I haven't smelled anything from this house. Also got to touch up on uh, Memo. Oh my gosh. Initial Rehab. It's amazing. It's really smooth. Do they have Diptyque? I don't think so. I haven't seen Diptyque. Like I see like higher end stuff. Like Amwazes. Roger. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, this is another house I haven't smelled. Corner. MFK Udlan. I love the MFK Oud line, but yeah, I will do a sniffing on that. I didn't even recognize who you were. How you? <laughs> How's it going? I'm on, um, I actually came out here for this. Yes, and uh, I'm on YouTube right now. Look who it is. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Oh, be back. Right lesson. There you go. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my God. I don't know how I miss you in um, Menfluent. Because I was there, but I missed you. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Did you go day one or day two? I was there both days. I was there for like four days. Oh, yeah, I yeah. was there on day two. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, nice yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, uh, we'll exchange information. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I looked up to you for a long time now. I've Thank been following you, you for a minute. Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. That's I look forward awesome. to uh, commenting on the video when you publish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't smelled anything from them though. Yeah, yeah. I really wanted this one. Tiger's Nest. Tiger's Nest. And this one came out recently too. Marfa Spices. I don't see it though. That's the regular Marfa. I think Marfa. I think Sebastian did a review on that. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta check out African Leather because I've I've heard a lot about it and I like the notes on it too. That one is good. Russian leather is good too. I heard about that one. Where are you? Oh, right here. Thank you. Thank you. Look who we got in the back. We got Mr. Cologne in the back. All right, guys. I'm about to put you guys down for a little bit. So we got Memo African Leather. This is my first time smelling this. Wow. Oh my god. This is amazing. African Leather? Yeah, yeah. I really like it. I love that one so much. Oh my gosh. Cardamom, geranium, leather. And cardamom and geranium actually are like. Yeah. Probably top 10, like my favorite notes. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Not too minty though. Mm -hmm. Right? You would think it's going to be minty on account of the geranium, but it's not. Right. Wow, this is amazing. Have you tried Shamzu? I haven't. I just sprayed it for us. That one gets talked about a lot too. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that one is. That's a uh, ginger, cashmere, and food. Wow. Sam's Oud? This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Wow. wow that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Where does this go? All the way in the back? Uh, 
That's not happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you sprayed that uh, Russian yet? Um, I didn't spray it today, no. Uh -huh. let's try that one. Yeah, let's try them out over here. So we got Russian leather now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I might like this better than. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, this is. <laughs> wow, wow, this is good. I feel like it's just gonna keep getting better and better. That one is more green, right? Kinda yeah, this is really green. Yeah. Wow. And then the new one, I get oh, a lot of um, Yeah, I get a lot of um, frankincense from this one. Frankincense. It just says incense, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's frankincense. Wow. Frankincense is starting to grow on like grow on me. Yeah. Um, because I'm still pretty new into like oud and frankincense. And when I first like started, I was like, okay, I want the lightest oud, the lightest frankincense. And now I'm like, give me something that has a little bit more. Mm -hmm. This is nice. This is tiger's nest, right? Tiger's nest. Yeah. Wow. Guys, feel like incense, tiger's nest from Memo, amazing. Man, this is good. Wow, this is good. This is good. Now tell me if you think Marfa is a little feminine. <laughs> so this is Marfa right here. So my man Steve said he wants to know if I feel like this is a little feminine. Let's see. I feel like it leans on the yeah. feminine side, but I would wear this. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this is good. Have white musk, orange blossom, absolute, and tuberose absolute. Yeah, this is good. I don't know if it's something I would buy, but it's something I would wear. I hear you. Yep. Wow, memo, I am, uh, wow, I'm blown away, I'm blown away. I haven't smelled anything I don't like. Which one is this one? This one is called Janat. Janat. And that one is grapefruit, orange blossom, and ginger. Oh my gosh. Wow, I know I haven't tried this on skin, but I'm going to say right now, this is probably one of the best. Citrus openings I've ever smelled. It's different because you don't smell grapefruit too much. It's usually like orange and bergamot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've been sleeping on this for a long oh, time. I have ginger. Yeah. I like ginger. Wow. I can only imagine the dry down to this one. Yep. To me, like it almost, I almost get like a rhubarb out of this, like a rhubarb type of smell. Uh huh. Wow, this is good. Wow, memo. I am impressed. I am very impressed. Which one is the one Mr. Cologne was talking about? He said he had to buy it. Oh, which one is I that? know it's from this line. If so, I see the name, I'll recognize it. What house is this? This is Amarud. It's by the uh, Perfumer's Workshop. And Amarud by the Perfumer's Workshop. Just look at these bottles. Where's the one that you yeah, that's awesome. yeah, yeah, I want that one. I want to smell it. But a lot of these are really good. I know this is a honey-based one. Okay. And uh, I remember really liking the one. That's called Miel Sabah. Which one is it? You said Miel Savage? Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Wow, this is amazing. Another house I haven't smelled anything from. I haven't smelled anything from Atelier Des Ors. Did I say that right? Yeah, Atelier, yeah, Atelier Des Ors. Des Ors. Saffron Rare. Does it have like a Tuscan leather vibe? I love Tuscan leather. Absolutely. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's that saffron. Man. It's so, uh, it's so easy to distinguish. Yep. Wow. Yeah, this is this is amazing. But yeah. it's smoother. Like I, I, I wouldn't really say this is here. I get more of an ombre leather out of this. 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like this is easier to wear. Because, like, see ombre leather, like... Because Tuscan leather is kind of in your face. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, ombre leather is a little bit smoother. Yeah, so this is this is smoother than Tuscan leather, but I get that. Wow, this is good. This is good. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I think there's a red. I have this for you here. Oh. Oh man, what's going on, peeps? Hey, what's, up? <laughs> what's going on, fragrance family? <laughs> That's awesome. I see why you picked this up. Dude, oh my goodness, that is incredible. I had to have it. Okay, so I know I told you guys I'm still pretty new to the old world, but this is some really sweet. Wearable. Ooh, this is nice. Wow. Oh my gosh. You need to come in here and spend a paycheck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what we end up doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Try this one too. This is another one of their ooze. It's called Ood After Dark. Ood After Dark. I like that name. Oh my gosh. I might like this one better. Yeah, good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah my, uh, I don't know. This is good. I hate coming in, like, let's say if I wanted to get something from this house. This is what happened to me when I was, uh, when Nick from um, Galavant came down the first time. Okay, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I was like, it was like four different ones. I couldn't decide which one to get. It was like Berlin, Brooklyn. It was Berlin, Brooklyn, Istanbul? Istanbul was on my top two and it was uh London. Oh okay, okay. I ended up going with uh Berlin. So I think right now I had uh which one was it? I had London at the top of my list. Yeah. But I might like Tokyo better. It's different. Tokyo is interesting. It's yeah. different. But I've worn London on my skin. I haven't worn Tokyo yet, so okay, maybe, I'm so, maybe I'm judging it too fast. I don't okay, know. Okay. Uh, yeah, the only one I wasn't really care, uh, crazy about is Tel Aviv, just because yeah, it was a little too floral. I didn't really like Tel Aviv either. Um, it's nothing I hated, but right. I didn't really like it. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Good. Which one is this one again? I, I'm that going was to the last food one after did? dark, right? After dark, okay. yeah. yeah, I'm not going to forget this one. And that one has pepper, saffron, osmanthus, apricot, uh, dianthus, olibanum, plum, suede, rose, ebony, tobacco, amber, vanilla. I mean, it's... Wow. It's crazy. You heard those notes, guys? Oh, I've seen this house. I haven't tried this house either, but I've seen these bottles. Wow, look at that presentation. Yeah, that's, that's all awesome. done You got something out of it? I didn't. <laughs> you guys, I'm absolutely blown away. This is uh this place is really beautiful. Like, Try this one. Which one is this? It's called Contessa. Contessa. Wow. Wow, this is really classy. That one's by Morris. It's called Contessa. Contessa, guys. It has a, a slight sweet vibe, kind of spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, star anise. That's one. Okay. Uh, tonka bean, musk, vanilla, amber, bergamot, nutmeg, pink pepper, rose, lang lang. Awesome. Wow, wow. This is good. This is good. My bad, guys. I'm over here. You guys are talking to me. I'm not even responding. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Chris? I see you dressed like a fragrancy. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. What is my most complimented fragrance? That is a very good question. Uh, uh, hmm. What is my most? What is your most complimented fragrance? Probably Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus? Yeah. Every time I wear it, somebody <laughs> says something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. What is my most... Uh, oh, actually, I don't even know why I'm thinking about this. Uh, Jazz Club by Replica. 
that is my most complimented. Because I feel like I've gotten stuff that get a lot of compliments, but I haven't worn them too much. So, yeah, yeah. Um, like I just got, I just picked up Grand Soir. Um, I know that's gonna, that's gonna be heavy in the compliments. Mm -hmm. Which one is that one? Ooh. Wow, that's that's bright. That's different. This one is called Al Andalus by the same company. Al Andalus. Next it here. Oh, so somebody's asking you, what is your favorite oud fragrance? Favorite oud? Um, I like a lot of what a Reach the Door does. So like oud picante is really good. Uh, that's one that I reviewed recently. Yeah, I really like that. As far as like more commercial mainstream moods, I like a lot of Tom Ford's, like Oud Wood, even though there's not a whole lot of Oud in there. Tobacco Oud is pretty good too. But uh, Oud in general is not one of my favorite notes. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, that was a good answer though. Um, Thank you. I'm not the biggest Oud fan either. Yeah. Um, I usually go for the subtle stuff. Um, like I know people clown me a lot when I tell them one of my favorite Ouds because there's not much oud in there, but it's um, royal oud by Creed. Oh, Creed like that's yeah. more cedar than anything, but I love it. Um, yeah. yeah. No, that's a nice one too. Yeah. That last one was good. The yeah. um, oh, the last I one think that I just bring. Yeah. Yeah, like ginger, saffron. Wow. Get a lot of the ginger in there. This is super bright. I love it. This First time smelling it. I really like it. Yeah, I'm curious what the price tag on it is. Right. They look like, what are those, like 1.7s? Mmm. Looks like a 1.7. Oh. Guys, let's look at this presentation. This is like dense too. Yeah, they got a good weight for that. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I think I want to start smelling oh. Atelier Des Ors. Oh, excuse me. I heard a lot about... I heard a lot about this guy right here. Musket Mortal. So I'm definitely sniffing that. I heard a lot about... Where is it? It's an iris one. This guy. Iris. You can tell this is good too. Like, look at the dent on this. So. How's it going? Alright, so let me put this down so I can spray some. First one, Iris. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, guys. This guy right here is amazing. This isn't like in your face iris either. Like, um... Oh my gosh, like your Dior or your, uh... What else is an iris based fragrance? I'm forgetting, I forget it. Uh, what's the name of this fragrance? My Prada. Prada, Prada Loam. It's not in your face iris. Like, you get a lot of everything else. Iris is kind of in the background. <coughs> this is amazing. Wow, this cap has some weight to it, too. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you live streaming? I am live. And they just heard me. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Right. Wow, this is good. Wow. No, it's the fact that I said that. Sorry, sir. I wanted to smell the iris. Did you yeah, it's really it good. Yeah, that's it. The iris is in the background, too. It's not like in your face, like a Prada roll. Yeah, which is good, but I like it. So this is another one I heard a lot about. Musk Immortal. I'm about to smell this one. Where are the cards at? Excuse me. 
I, I like it's there. It's, it's very subtle though. Iris's tongue is very low. Oh my goodness. Have you smelled a Telegate's Iris right now? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, James, what's up? Hey, look who it is. We got Legend Chad in the building. Who did you meet? You said. Hold on, hold on. Wow, that's awesome. You met Erwin Creed. Okay, big guy. And James, I see your message. I'm not ignoring it. <laughs> I will reply when I get out of here. I'm, I'm kind of like, how do I like reflection, man? Ooh, that's a good one because I actually haven't smelled reflection, man. So I'm about to do that for you because I'm watching this right next to me. Wow. Um, with Atelier de Sors, I really like them. Um, they're not really strong or in your face, which I like, but a part of me wonders how um, how good they project. Hey, Chad, don't start no trouble on my line, all right? <laughs> uh, reflection, man, I feel like that, is that the red bottle? This is actually not even around me. Um, I live in the Philly area. This is out in New York. I came out here for this event today, so. We don't really have much fragrance shops like this, honestly. Um, but then again, New York isn't too far from me, so, you know, I can just take a bus or hop on the highway and I'm here, so. <laughs> Sad. Reflection man, what uh, color bottle is that? Is it the red one? I feel like it's the red one. Uh, Chris, I'm definitely buying ombre leather. Um, I am meeting up with the boys. Where are the boys meeting up? Are you talking about at the uh, dinner place? All right, so I'm a little, I'm not gonna lie, so look, I'm a little short. I think Reflection Man is up there. I can't reach it, so I'm going to ask for assistance. I'm not ashamed, all right? Excuse me. Question. Can I get a fragrance down? Because I can't reach it. I'm a little short. Um, I was trying to smell Reflection Man by I'm Wash. Which one? Uh, I think it's the one in the red bottle. I think. Oh, Journey? Okay. No, that's Journey. Which one is Reflection Man? Is that the one in the green or red? That's the one in the red. It is red, okay. Oh, look, my food's the one. I haven't smelled much from Perfumes de Marley either, so I'm about to smell that later. This is like a kid in a candy store. Yes, that one. Yep. Thank you. Alright, guys. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of me, names. Small but mighty. All right, so reflection, man. This is my first reaction. First reaction of reflection, man, by Amouage. These bottles are absolutely beautiful. What's up? What's up? Little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Oh man, uh, so I've, this is my first time smelling anything from Atelier de Sors. Uh -huh. um, they're really light, but I love them. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing. Uh, Musk and Mortar uh, Iris. Uh -huh. How do you Iris say Fall. Fall? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, Have you smelled Orange? Which one? That was the one that stood up for me, this one right here. I haven't smelled that. Oh no, no, not this one. This one, Ange. I haven't smelled that. Citrus, one. very nice citrus fragrance. 
I see you, you got Journey in your hand. First time smelling it. Beautiful fragrance. Let me tell you, I wore that fragrance at birthday party once. Later on at night, somebody told me I smell like a nice cigar. So, incredible, incredible fragrance right there. I'm a wise journey man. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm a wise journey man. So this is a wise journey man. Tobacco, right one of my favorite tobacco fragrances. Wow. One of my favorite tobacco fragrances. I actually sure. just bought a tobacco fragrance based on your take on Which one? Um, Serge Lutons? Serge Lutons. Serge Lutons. Serge Lutons. Serge Lutons. I just got it in like two days ago. I love it. Wow, this is good. Guys. That was Mr. Cologne, by the way. Mr. Cologne. Wow. Yeah, this is incredible, guys. Yeah, oh my gosh. This journey, I'm going to need this. So, let's Touch up on some. You said the silver one is reflection, man. Okay, got you. The silver one is reflection. Oh no, that is journey. <laughs> I just realized that is journey. You are absolutely right. Hold on. The silver one. Thank you, James. I try. I couldn't come out here in you know Soho Fashion District looking crazy. I had to had to throw on Sunday's special. Wow, Journey's crazy. My guy, I will make sure that I check out Reflection Man. You said that's the silver one. I don't think I see it. Yeah, I don't think I see it. I don't know if they have reflection there. Uh... Reflection. Oh, there it is. Well, it's actually clear, not silver. You lied. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Yep. All right, so here we go. Reflection, man. I'm about to test this out for y'all. See why you wanted me to smell this. Yeah, this is really good. Wow. Yeah, this is really fresh, really clean. Nice office set. These magnetic caps, I can't get over them. Wow. That reflection, man, is amazing. I think I'm going to touch up on some of these uh, perfumes that Marley, because I haven't smelled much from their house. Oh my gosh, this reflection man though. Ooh. It's sweet. Are you live? I'm live, yes. <laughs> no, it's alright. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is good. Which one is this? Oh, so I'm about to smell this guy right here from Gamine. I don't know if I said this right. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, I'm, no, I'm saying organic ink. Like, Oceanic ink. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I like this thing. I like really subtle. I guess a floral note in it. This is good. I see why. It's good. It's like, it does remind me of something familiar about you, right? Thank you. Yeah. 
Maybe the floral notes he has or something. Have you guys heard of this house? It's an interesting house. I like it. Here it is. Let's look at the. We got sea moss, salted amber. Maroli. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. I love that. What do you guys say? What do you guys say? Let's check out. Definitely gotta dive through the Rogers because I haven't smelled all of them. Oh, this is another house I need to check out. I've heard a lot about that house. That's a good one. So, about to dive into this house next. About to look at some parfums de barley. So, the only one that I have smelled from this house, well, I smell two of them. I smell this guy right here, Leighton. And I smell the newest version, the newest version of Leighton, which is uh, Leighton exclusive. This is amazing. So, let's see which one. Oh, I forgot how heavy the caps are. Yeah. <laughs> Probably done in the floor. I don't know which one is this one. I think that's hero. That's beautiful. That's a tobacco fragrance too. Yeah. So this is um. I've only smelled two things from this house. Layton and late and exclusive. Wow. Wow. There's uh notes in the back, which is really cool. So this is Perry. We got canal pepperwood, cinnamon pepperwood. Uh, what is that? Tobacco leaves, frankincense. Wow, this has a lot of notes. I'm about to spray this one for y'all. All right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Late exclusive. These caps are literally like like five pounds. This is crazy. Did you just see that spray? Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold up. This right here, this is fire. Wow. Really sweet tobacco. This is so classy. Oh my gosh, I need this. Yeah, I need this. Yeah, this is good. We looking at next. Let's look at Carlisle. I don't know if I said that right. Carlisle is good too. It's almost like I smell an like apple note in it. Wow. Hey, what's up, Christian? Yeah, Herod is amazing. Pegasus? I do have to try Pegasus. I've heard a lot about that one. Let me see if I can grab Pegasus. I love Pegasus. I thought Pegasus was like silver. Yeah. 
Alright, here's Pegasus right here. Hey, we're going to start transitioning over to the restaurant here shortly because it's 4 Okay. Everything. Feel free to stick around here and then meet us there or kind of that. How far is it? That's like four miles away. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pegasus is ridiculous. Oh, Christian, I'm wearing, um, this suit is by Style by DM. He's a friend of mine. Um, it's custom made. He makes these suits very well. I'm, uh, one of his biggest customers. Pegasus is amazing. I am, uh, oh my gosh, blown away. Uh, oh, that's the wrong place. Custom engraving. That's complimentary. So, this is the brand. Style by DM. Wow, I am, uh, I am completely blown away. Oh, wait. There's something that I'm always wanting to smell. Excuse me. I'm gonna put this up here. Live person X. Always wanted to smell this. I was actually about to blind buy this, which maybe wouldn't have been a good idea. Uh, Kenneth. So, um, what's up, by the way? The suits, um, they start at 350. Um, and depending on which one it is, it can, um, because the prices differ, uh, of course, quality, that's what you're paying for, um, what I have on right now is one of the luxury lines, uh, I need a card, I got a small this five person. Got a small spot person. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're about to go to the restaurant soon. Excuse me. Sorry. <coughs> but before I leave, let me get a sniffing of Clive Christian X. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if, I'm sorry, if you are here um, for the meetup, uh, we would like to take a group picture. Please be here for the meetup. This is not in the picture. Then this is great. amazing. Um, can, I have, can I have everybody come up here to the front so we can use the natural lighting from outside? All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to call this a day. It's been real. We're about to go to a meetup. My phone is about to die. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm going to try to continue this live on Instagram when we go to the meetup. You guys are the best. But you already know this.